Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nark. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Round and Round again by ESPF. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's read the description. Seriously, round you go, you little teddy bear, you. Huge apologies for not managing to fit my usual bouncy cube in the test. I'll let you off. Thanks for while, Drew, for testing the test in a testing way. Testingly. Without further ado, let's jump in and see what we have got. Right here, it looks like there's um, a lot of attractive things. Oh my goodness. Ow! Ow. You could have warned everybody about the massive ear rape. Yeah, are you seriously? That's that's not that's not good, man. It's too much. That's too much. All right, so one would assume we do this. Uh, okay. It's like a cube just dropped somewhere. Was that just me? Okay. So a timer. Sorry guys. Um, all right. What do I actually need here for? Can I just do something like that? How come that's not working? I thought that'd like work for sure. Yeah, that's that sound effect, man, is not good at all. I have a feeling. Yeah, I, you can... Yeah, this is... Um, you can skip this, man. This can be skipped. Oh my goodness, come on, dude. Seriously. Boom. So, yeah. I guess the idea is to take the cube around again and get a second cube. The second cube would give you the funnel and then you could hold the cube above there with the funnel. And then when you walk through the fizzler, the, the cube drops into that glass plane. But yeah, you can skip pretty much half the test. You don't you have to go around once, which kind of makes your map, uh, means your map should actually, actually be called just round. Because we only need to went around once. So um, yeah. So you might want to take a look at that. 
and potentially uh, fix it. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any matches over to play, please leave them in the comments down below or head over to my Discord where you'll find a link. To, you'll find my map suggestions channel. You'll find a link to that in the description down below. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming. I swear down, I've recorded this map so many times now and I just cannot get the recording right. First of all, it's microphone level. Then the recording doesn't record. Then I'm playing the wrong map. And it's just absolutely crazy. Anyway, guys, what's going on? Um, after playing the original version just a moment ago, I did post on the map um, page and explained that I'd found the um, you know, alternate solution, which basically skips half the map. So, um, they created a new version of the map because they lost the original file or something. Uh, so, this is the remake. So, this is what we got to before, where we go through here. Um, we didn't actually need to pick up the second cube last time as part of the solution, but we do this time. However, I do believe I've found a way to exploit the map slightly on the exit again. And I will you know, show you what I did to do that. I'll also give you my thoughts on the, the final maneuver as well because um, I do have some thoughts on it and I'm not a big fan of what you're doing there. Anyway, let's just um, I totally messed that up. Let's do that again. Through here. So this is the path to get in the second cube. Avoid that button. I personally I would swap these buttons around. I would swap these buttons around. Then you have to travel further in the funnel the second time around if you turn the funnel on and um, you know, the player's not as easy to, to turn that off like that. But uh, anyway, now that we've done that, we can go through here. And this now allows us to get both of the cubes. Grab the first one. Grab the second one. And now we need that one there. And we take this one round again. Hence the name of the map. does is it opens up all of this goodness through here. So now we have that. We're all set up for the exit. So, um, I believe the final move is this. This, this. Obviously you can clear your portal using the Fizzler. Now, this, to me, is not a good ending maneuver. The reason being, I can't consistently do it every single time I play this map. And as a result, it means you have to go all the way around the map to then set the, set the scenario up again a second time in the hope that you... Um, get it that time, and if you don't, then you've got to fly around the map again, and so on, and so on, and so on. There's also something weird, something weird going on with this button right here. It's very slippery, uh, as you'll see in a moment. Do that. The cube is always, always, always sliding off that button, as you can see. It just keeps moving and moving and moving, no matter where you put that in. Uh, but that's the intended solution. Um, I did manage to do it a couple of times before. Um, if you can position the cube sort of like over to the side a little bit, as I'll try and do here. I'm going to position the cube like there, and drop it. Kind of gives you enough time before the cube... Oh no, it's perfectly balanced this time. It's not sliding. Alright, anyway, that's the intended solution. There is, however, a still a, an exploit to this map, unfortunately. Uh, which you can do this and this, which doesn't necessarily... which means you can cut out the funnel completely. You do that, and that, and up you come here. So, yeah, it's still possible to break the map. I don't agree with using the funnel in that way for the ending. It's very, and it could be very frustrating for the player. Like I said, if they mess up that shot, they've got to go all the way around the map again to reset that up. What would be nice is if that button there also kind of like overrode this here as well. 
So, um, if you do mess it up, all you've got to then do is walk through here, shoot the portal there, and you walk straight back through. It saves a lot of time for the player and um, wouldn't frustrate the player as much. But that's just my thoughts, guys, um, on the map. I uh, hope you understand where I'm coming from, and hope you... Um, if you fix the map, let me know, and I will happily replay it. Maybe not in a video, but um, I will definitely give it another go. But like I said before, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.